Hey guys, Gaming 99 here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to detect whether an entity is within a solid block. And what do I mean by a solid block? So a solid block, by my definition at least, for the purpose of this video, is something that a player can walk through. So like this torch, I can walk through this, so it's not solid. This uh, flower, I can walk through, so it's not solid. This gate, I can walk through, so it's not solid. But if I close it, I can't walk through. So a closed gate is not solid, sorry, is solid, whereas an open gate is not solid. Same for a door, if it's closed, solid. If it's open, not solid. Uh, this glass is a transparent block, but uh, I can't walk through it, so for my cases, it's a solid block. And of course, stone brick is a solid block. So why would this idea be useful? So I've set up a demonstration, and it's basically going to be a bullet traveling towards the poor skeleton over there. So Ideas like this might be useful if you want to know whether your bullet has hit a block or not. If you see on my scoreboard on the right side of the screen, I've got a hit block scoreboard and the uh, uh, armor stand, which is the 68D9 thing, uh, has a hit block score of 0, which means it hasn't hit a block yet. Uh, what we want is ideally for the bullet to be able to travel through uh, non solid blocks like this torch and this star to be able to travel through these uh, doors and gates only if they are open, so not if they're closed, and uh, not through glass because it's a block that normally a player can't walk through. So yeah, so that's uh, what we want. We want to try to be able to change the scoreboard of our uh, bullet, the hit block scoreboard, to 1 if it has hit any of the solid blocks. All right. So, uh, this is a demonstration I've got here set up. I've got a few commands ready. Uh, start moving, just moves it. Uh, you can ignore these chain commands because these are require redstone and currently they are not powered. So for now you can ignore them and we only have this command here which TPs the uh, bullet one block to the right or 0.05 blocks to the right uh, only if it has a hit block uh, score of zero. So once it actually hits something, it'll stop. Uh, like a regular bullet would. As you can see, if I flip it on, this will start moving to the right. And this one just resets, uh, it teleports the bullet back to the beginning, and it also sets the hit block to zero. So that's a reset. And here I can summon a new bullet if I want to, but I probably won't be. Alright, so I've got three different methods set up, one, two, and three. And I'm going to show you each one one by one to show you like what sort of thought process goes into making this real quick. So. The first one is checking for a non-air block. So you might think that, okay, so if I want this to work, I can just check whether the uh, entity is in an air block or not. If it is in an air block, then it obviously hasn't hit a block. So uh, we'll set the hit block to zero. If it's not an air block, we can set it to one. So I won't go over the commands, but um, basically it's pretty obvious that this won't work. So it'll stop at the torches. Uh, that's because uh, it sees torches as not an air block, so it'll say it hit, even though that's not the intended behavior that we want. So uh, yeah, that won't work. So we will uh, try out method two. So method two is checking whether an endermite uh, is still alive. So what we can do is we can summon an endermite at the bullet, and then while it uh, goes, we can check if the endermite is dead or not. Uh, the endermite will die if it's in a block, obviously, because it will suffocate to death. It's a 1 HP endermite, I forgot to mention. So the 1 HP endermite, if it's in a block, it'll die. So we, what we can do is we can summon a new endermite every tick, and at the beginning of next tick, we can check whether the endermite is still alive or not. The endermite, and the endermite is still alive, then it hasn't hit a solid block yet. But if it's dead, then it, um, if it's dead, then it must have hit a solid block. Now this works fine in theory, we'll summon an endermite here, and this is actually an endermite being spawned and killed every tick, which is why you've got that weird animation going on here. So this will work for the torches, right, because the endermite won't suffocate in the torches, but we'll have problems as soon as we get to the doors, gates, and glass. So if we close these, both of these blocks don't suffocate our uh, entities. So what this means is that the endermite will pass right through. Not only that, it will pass through the glass as well, 
and only once it gets to the stone brick will start dying. Uh, you can see the hit block uh, on the right has been set to 1. And the bullet, even though you can't see its name because it's been covered by smoke particles, another disadvantage of this method, uh, has stopped moving. But of course, we don't. Uh, this is not what we wanted. We wanted it to stop at the closed doors and at the glass. And of course, we don't really want this uh, huge white effect going on here, which uh, can get a bit annoying. So we'll shut that off. And can we kill the endermite? There we go. Cool, so that method doesn't work, and this is why I propose my third method. So this third method involves checking for an item. So what we do is we summon a no gravity item on the bullet. And every tick, uh, just like the endermite, will TP the uh, item to the bullet. This is what these chain commands are for here. So I'm going to turn them on. So these will just, uh, on every tick, kill uh, what uh, an item called the check button. I picked the button because the button is a small, very small item. You can make the item invisible if you want using models or uh, textures. Uh, I'm not really bothered to do that. So you know, this will kill uh, the button every tick and then it will summon a new button on the bullet again. So er this all, uh, and I would remind you that this also happens after the TP happens. So what will happen is the bullet will TP, it will teleport first, and then it will kill the old button and summon a new one. So that's what's going to happen every tick. If I uh, run it for a little bit, you'll see that there's a little button here. Button's no gravity, which means it won't fall to the ground. And also it is, uh, I can't pick it up, basically. So there's a pick up delay, I think it's the tag. So anyway, over here, we have these commands. What this does is, very simple, we'll set hit block to 1. So we'll set the hit board scoreboard command to 1. Scoreboard, just the scoreboard, not a command. Let's get the hit, board score, hit block scoreboard to 1. Can't speak. And uh, what it'll do is it'll check if uh, the, at the bullet's location there is, uh, there is a check button or the item. And if it uh, has got an item there, We'll set the hit block to zero. Why does this work? That's because items, when you place them inside blocks, they'll float up. So if I place the block there, you'll see that the item will move by itself. That's a, one of the properties of items here, and we're going to use that. So things like uh, gates and doors, if a player can't walk through it, if there's an item in there, it'll start floating up. So let's try that here. Put a die right, right in the middle of the gate. Close it, and you'll see it starts to move, right? It moves out, because that's what items do in Minecraft. Same for doors, and same for glass. Uh, what this means is that uh, if we turn this on, and then start to move our bullet to the right, you'll see it passes through the torch and the flower, because they won't move the item. They're non-solid, as I would call them. Since we get to the gate, this uh, the button is getting moved every tick. And because of this, these two commands here, uh, we detect that the button has moved, and so we, um, we set the hit block on the right to 1. As you can see, the hit block of the armor sand has been set to 1, which is why we are no longer teleporting, which means it's still. Once you open the gate again, the bullet is free to move, until again, it hits the door. Same thing, uh, gets to the glass, the uh, button starts moving again, and the same thing happens again. So yeah, that's how we're going. That's how you make a uh, commands to be able to detect whether an entity is inside a solid block or not. Uh, I hope this idea is useful to anyone making uh, concepts similar to this. Maybe for bullets or projectiles that you want to go through uh, some some of these like open doors and open gates, but not others. And yeah, uh, I hope you found this video interesting and useful. See you next time.